Hi, I'm Jack Crawford with your IPC Tech Tip of the Week. The questions we get are about solder balls. How many? What size? What's their location? Folks, solder balls, especially with lead-free solders, have become, unfortunately, the norm rather than the exception. Solder balls can be controlled by your temperature reflow profile. Solder balls can be controlled by making sure that your solder paste is properly stored, not too old. If you remove solder paste from a cold storage uh, unit and don't allow it to completely, thoroughly come up to room temperature, when you open the lid, moisture is going to condense in it, be absorbed into the vehicle, and cause oxidation on the solder spheres. Okay? So, it's important to have a good process control. Now, how much solder balls are acceptable? Well, really, any solder ball should be considered a process indicator because they can be controlled. That's the classic definition of a process indicator, something you need to do to make your process better. However, regardless of old standards that used to address how large they could be or how many there could be within a certain one square inch area or area the size of a U.S. quarter. And revision D to J standard 1 and to IPC A610 took a more common sense approach to it. Okay? Any solder ball or group of solder balls that causes a violation of minimum electrical clearance is a defect. Period. Any violation of minimum electrical clearance is a defect. Secondly, you don't want these pieces of conductive metal bouncing around down inside your assembly under operation. So, any solder ball that can come loose in the normal intended service environment is a defect. Okay? Yes, we use some words like entrapped, encapsulated, attached on there, but those are all just definitions of why it might not come loose. If it can come loose, it's a defect. If it violates minimum electrical clearance, it's a defect. Now, there's one more caveat that you should consider uh, about solder balls. Even if they are well attached, even if they are fairly small, don't violate minimum electrical clearance, consider that the, a series of solder balls are very similar to the plates of a capacitor, a coupling capacitor. And depending upon your circuit parameters, they could introduce or encourage crosstalk from one conductor to another conductor. So it may be that uh, you will have special requirements, special considerations for solder balls. But 